Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Monsillon. I'm called to return and, and speak a little bit about the, the transformation, the, the great shift that is going on. There will be a lot of chaos that will come from the shift of dimensional shift that we're preparing from the third to the fourth dimension because the whole system is falling. Everything is going to be breaking down in a month, maybe a couple of years coming. It's like, so, so, so it's, it's going to create a lot, a lot of chaos. And so, um, but the, deep trans the deepest transformation has to be the one within ourselves to accept, to change to let go of what is no longer necessary, to adopt the new, to know what is within our power and not within our power, and uh, and to go with the flow. Huh? For, for it's like uh, but the, the change will also be on the collective level, yet it might be painful for those who refuse to awaken. Well, for, I think we need, we're need we going to need, a eventually we'll do away with all government. We won't need that once we reach the fifth dimension. But in the fourth dimension, we'll still need that administration. And for that, we're going to need uh, leaders that are transparent, that are sincere, honest, and transparent, that are a, a lot of, um, administrative wisdom that know how to administer the resources. There will be a redistribution of resources as well, as well as, as there's nothing wrong about some having a lot more than others. The problem is that they have some that have nothing, and so that will not work in the next level. Everybody will have to have what they need. And also to, to take uh, the, the ecology of the planet in con consideration. My understanding of ecology is very different than the ecological uh, movement that are right now. This uh, like electric car, lithium batteries. For me, is that not ecological? Just as uh, throwing a can of, of tomato soup on paintings will not change the problems of the climate. But then if we stop the chemtrail and we stop playing around with, uh, with all kinds of... Um, electromagnetic uh, weather control technologies, then the planet will find itself. So, so a lot of things will be changing. We also need to break all the old dogmas, the old beliefs. The, the living presence of God is, is present to inform us at every even given moment what is right and what is wrong, what needs to be done, what needs to be left out, what needs to be not left out, but what we need to move forward and what we need to let go of. So, so it's like, uh, it, it will be a little bit painful for some, but um, but we do need to to bring light into the darkest places huh? to, to to understand also that there is a lot of discourse and uh, an intellectual comprehension, but it has to be turned into belief and practice huh? for the, this higher higher form of, of being. It has to be the love has to be manifested, has to be uh, expressed in a way that is felt. For there is there is something that we have as as human beings, most human beings, as I said, is a moral consciousness. The ability to decipher between what which is right and what which is wrong, what hurts the collective or ourselves, and what does good to the collective or others. But, but there, there is there is both atheists and, and religious people that do not have that. They, they, they believe that sometimes some people can do do bad things, hoping that it will bring something good, but it will never. We always serve the darks. You can never. Only God can use dark and light for the evolution of the whole, because He has the wisdom of the omni, omniscient. But for us, we can never hope to do something bad, hoping to get something good. And there is a lot of people that are mostly atheists, I would say, that believe that they, they, they can do anything to serve themselves and in, in, in hurt other people. But if, if they're if they not caught in the, in the act, they're, just, they're like they're home free. But in truth, there is the law of the circle, the law of karma, the law of attraction. And nobody can escape the consequences of their actions. So it is important to forgive and trust the law. Trust that God will educate all souls in due time. Just want to not make yourself vulnerable to any form of darkness, to, be, to gain the wisdom, to... To, to protect ourselves against all that and uh, and make peace with yourself and all your past and to make your peace with all of life to to be in the acceptance of life in, in general so we can get ready for a new future and uh, for life will repeat itself the lessons will repeat itself until we've learned the, the lesson then we can find the peace so it's very much about love peace and acceptance huh, of all that is and uh, and let the heart be the guiding force of your life. For the heart is uh, already knows in truth. And sometimes I'm facing with situation that spirits say, "Well, you can whatever. You don't have a choice." And, and those other people, they don't have a choice. So just uh, it's like this is this has already been decided on high. The card of the day is the divine will in action. 
it is the young, it is the number one card. Uh, it's about uh, calling on the Archangel Michael and his tribes of the blue fire to assist us. For this, uh, they, they, they've been working on, they, they're going to be cleansing a lot of places where they're stuck demons, like the Vatican and Switzerland and many other countries, northern countries, and, 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 and all, all kinds of places. There's, they've been um, all kinds of dark elites also needs to be removed. And so the talking heads huh, for for uh, humanity is not capable of removing all that. And so, so the, the heavens, heaven, the heavenly force are starting to to be more involved, and, and they will take the control of of many many things. Uh, if any nation tries to start a nuclear war, not only will it not work, it will be prevented. But I will give an authorization for the for, for the the celestial and the galactic to intervene directly. Not that we want that, but uh, it's like uh, otherwise they don't really authorize. It's like well, let, let them let them go through their karma, let go through. The, but the, but but the the, the the dark forces that, that, that have been uh, behind all the problems of the planet have been allowed to 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 act without uh, interference for too long, and now the heaven is being called to. Um, to, to act and, and remove them little by little. So, or, or maybe, I don't know, it's like a lot of things is hidden from our consciousness. What we need to do is to elevate our consciousness, to cultivate love, to cultivate life, to be love, to be light. Huh? Uh, understanding the, the, the forces of the heart and the third eye is activated more and more through the gamma ray that are coming down from the, the solar flash and the, the, the aurora borealis. Uh, a completely natural event. It's the light from the inner earth that will eventually englobe the whole planet and this is assisting just as the, the higher galactic forces are assisting sending gamma and ray into the planet and we are as the light working community we may not be all connected together yet but we, we we're doing a lot of a lot of assistance and we're really assisting towards this great shift this um those great cosmic events so uh, Understanding also that when the shift comes, all the malevolent timelines and all the malevolent technologies and all that will, will just vanish. It will return to elemental energies. It will not be like the, the molecular structure will be completely decomposed and they would, those will not survive. So it will create some, 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 some uh, we don't know really, but we, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to create some, some chaos. And it will, it will happen through months and maybe a couple of years. The, the, the windows of opportunities are opening up until 2026. There is a great purification going, and some people will pass, some others won't pass. It's just the way it is. God, God knows. Huh? It's like God is trying to qualify it as many as possible by giving opportunity for them to love, to forgive, to, to find them. To find a way, uh, to, to to find whichever way possible to expand their consciousness, and so, but but everybody, God knows, everybody will continue their path on the level that they need to le to go. And what we seek is to match our frequency to the higher frequency of the the higher level of the fourth dimension or fifth or beyond. So so the more the because we, when the shift comes and if there is like a cataclysm and so on, all the light working community will be protected uh, through that. Yet the others will need that to learn to wake up. Huh? So it's like, a, but but there will be the, the, it's inevitable that we're, when there is a shift of dimensional consciousness, we go through the zero point. We there is like a lot of things change. It's like uh, I'm not sure how the senses will will intervene in that. They are the judgment of God in the universe. They are divine, eternal beings that have been created to be the judgment of God. I'm connected to them. Sometimes they intervene on local situation. This world has never been censured. There's been spiritual judgment before, but the, sen the senses are the final judgment. The things change and never return to them. But I'm sure that they will participate. I'm going to pull some cards in the Akash. Thank you so much for, for your presence. Thank you so much for, for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing, and for your donations. It's still, um, still helpful. For today, uh, we need to free ourselves from enslavement and, and slavery. This planet was a prison planet, and so our consciousness has been trapped within this duality, and we still need to deal with all kinds of material things that are connected to this dualistic world. So so uh, so as, as we free ourselves from this, we will pull another card. It is the, the bride and groom. It's, it's about loving relationship, long-term relationship, heart relationship, connection, deep soul connections. And um, it's also the marriage of heaven and earth huh, as well. But, uh, but here it's like it's talking about, um, about the love. For it is not signing a paper, the, 
get married signing on the data on the dotted line it's like my guardian angel told me that's not about about that long time ago she was trying to explain it's the, the connection in the heart that that connects people and the card of the day is the, the card of the universe the doors to the world the end of the cycle it's called the earthbound and it's really uh but the earth, yeah, the earth sometimes we will get sometimes it's really tiring this contrast we have to live through the contrast yeah it's really painful and to see all that and to the more sensitive you are the more uh, but but we we do have to trust the process and then to to look for that point of freedom where you can find this peace this this joy this creativity this prosperity to to accept that as the, the standard for your for our life well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I'm going to finish with a song, as usual. It's a little song that went through my mind. It's, um, it's, it's called California Dreaming. It goes like this. All the leaves are brown, the leaves are brown, and the sky is gray, and the sky is gray. I've been for a walk, been for a walk, on a winter's day, on a winter's day. I'd be safe and warm, be safe and warm, if I was in L.A., if I was in L.A. California dreaming, California dream, on such a winter's day. I stepped into a church, I passed along the way. Whoa, I got down on my knees, got down on my knees. And I pretend to pray, I pretend to pray. You know the preacher likes the cold, preacher likes the cold. He knows I'm gonna stay, knows I'm gonna stay. California dreaming, California dream. On such a winter's day. All oh, the leaves are brown, the leaves are brown, and the sky is grey, and the sky is grey. If I didn't tell her, if I didn't tell, I could leave today, I could leave today. California dreaming, California dream, on such a winter's day. For I know we're getting close to the, the summer, but I'm, I'm eager to return to Los Angeles. It's a place where I've always been a wonderful experience. I spent eight years over there. I have friends and family, and I'm looking forward to a return. For the, the observer of the day is rejoicing. It's about rejoicing. The highest wisdom is about luck, unexpected good fortune. What we need to understand is abundance. What we need to do is righteousness. And the outcome will be revelations. And there's going to be many revelations. But the very important revelation is what comes to you through your dreams, through your intuition, through your meditation, as in, in your third eye. And life is revealed. The higher, the higher functions of the universe are always revealed on the, on the inner, as an inner process of revelation. Humanity is not ready to... Not, we are only given what we need. It's on need-to-know basis. When we need something, sometimes we feel like we've well, been feeling like... There are certain things I didn't want to know that I have spirit. But once you know, you know. But um, but spirit never give you more than you can handle. Huh? So that's what I'm, I'm going to pull one more card, the last card of the day, again from the Archangel. And here we we have well, on the fifth today with the difficult card, the five of Gabriel. You can um, you can take on a challenge. Remove yourself from people living tragic situation. Show patience towards yourself and others. So it is important to 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 know that uh, it doesn't mean that we cannot provide assistance to those who are living very difficult situation, but uh, so we, because we do, but um, but we do not want to take the drama of other people within our. It, it won't do. It doesn't serve them to to suffer with them. Huh? Although they they will try to do that, and um, so I'm going to finish with another card. It's about divine conduct. The archangel Sandalphon. Look for meaning in your life. Envision a different approach. Surround yourself with, with friends or masters that are proven to be of great wisdom. So it is important to remove ourselves from lower consciousness and to try to and do whatever we can to attract higher consciousness. Huh? So it's, it's very... Uh, and and we, we, we really, day by day, we're learning, we're changing, and we're learning new approach to, to life. Huh? So it's just be ready for whatever, for whatever your soul, your spirit has been preparing you. 
and, uh, and and transmute as much as possible the fear or the, the, the doubts or all that we we'll call on the violet fire if necessary. I thank you very much. I wish you a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Salut.